that was at the top of our list. Number one, make the playoffs. And uh, I know, you know, we had some unfinished business from last year. We were a point uh, out uh, going into the last weekend, and we weren't able to get the job done. So this year, to be able to solidify that, uh, you know, that playoff spot um, before the last weekend and still have a chance to move up, um, you know, was was great to see and a testament to the uh, the type of leaders and, and leadership we've gotten this year. I have to talk to you a little bit about. The Patty Kazmaier Award and Lavisa is the first ever uh, top ten finalist for that. Uh, you know, when you heard that, what it, you know, what were your first thoughts there? Uh, not surprised. You know, you watch her um, all year, and the type of season she's had is um, it's amazing. And you know, she's going to go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, goalies that's ever played uh, women's college hockey. And you know, to get that record uh, for most saves, I think speaks to uh, the type of workload that she's had over her career and, and this year. And um, you know, she's a special person. I think most importantly, uh, she's our captain. Uh, the type of leadership uh, she's brought. Um, the type of teammate she is uh, couldn't happen to uh, to a better person. Well, what does it say for for her? I guess work that her best year was her senior year. You don't always see that in college sports. Uh, you know, sometimes it's the in the sophomore or junior year that they have their best year. But really, Lavisa has been at her best year, 940 save percentage here as a senior. Yeah, and I think just consistency too over over her career. And um, you know, she I think it speaks to how hard she works uh, on her game and her commitment level. Uh, to being an elite goalie, um, you know she's got dreams that go further than than here as well. She wants to play for Team Sweden in the next Olympics, and and that takes a ton of work, a ton of commitment, sacrifice, uh, and something that she really set her mind to this summer. Uh, we put some aggressive goals in front of her uh, to to get to that elite level, and she attacked them, and uh, and that's uh, set herself up for success this year. And it's great to see all that hard work pay off. This league is obviously challenging, no matter who you're going to play in the playoffs, but. Uh... You know, you know, talking about Patty Cass, five of the ten yeah. are from ECAC hockey. Does that does that really kind of show how strong this league is as a whole? It's an amazing league, and you know, we were just voting on uh, you know player of the year and first team and second team, and uh, the the amount of talent in this league is um, it, it's amazing it, to, to to put it uh, simply. Um, you know, every night you know that you're in for uh, for a battle, no matter who you play from from one to to twelve. Really, uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a hard fought game. There's gonna be a lot of talented players. And and the competitiveness of our league is uh, is the best I've seen. Uh, you know, as as we went through our non-conference uh, schedule this year. So, um, you know, great coaching, uh, great players uh, from top to bottom, and it uh, and it makes it exciting to put your jersey on every weekend and go represent your university. Uh, you know, you guys are in in the playoffs here against Cornell, a team that you didn't have a whole lot of success against this year. Uh, you know, what what does the playoffs bring for you guys and Obviously, there's no, there's no secrets anymore. So, what do you guys have to do to try to get a positive result here? Yeah, focus on us and, and what we do. You know, we uh, we felt we might play them in the first round, and we prepared that way going into that game. Now, the game didn't go the way we wanted to, but it's a clean slate for everybody. We all start at zero points, and we're all, you know, we all have the same opportunity to, to try and get to the final four of our league and, and then win a league championship. And uh, I think anytime you go into the playoffs, the focus has got to be on you and what you do, and and that's what we've been working on this week. You know, we know. Cornell very very well they know us really really well uh, like you said there's no secrets anymore and it's who's going to play the hardest for each other and uh, and execute so uh, that's been our focus this week and uh, we got to be ready to go I mean they scored in the first 30 seconds of, of both those games this year so uh, I think that's a testament to their coaching staff they do a great job in, in preparing them um, and uh, you know we, we've got to be ready to go right when the puck drops to, to play 60 minutes Friday night. And lastly, uh, I just want to ask you about a couple, you know, you, your freshmen have come along, it seems a long way here, you know, really all your underclassmen. You got big goals from Lily, Free Sanson, and, you know, and Leah, Leah Lance in, the, in, your, in your win over Princeton. Uh, how, about, how has their development helped you guys towards the second half of the season? Um, I, I think from top to bottom, I've never coached a team that's uh, improved as much as this team has. And, uh, you know, it started like we've talked about a lot in the summer, you know, with our upperclassmen really leading the way and making huge jumps in, in their strength and conditioning and setting themselves up for, for a good season. Then your freshmen come in and, and they see that and they see where the bar's at and, and they know they have work to do. And then that's a testament to them. They, they, they got after it, you know, this season and, and they're on the ice for extra work uh, every week and, uh, and doing the things that you need to do at this level to give yourself a chance on the weekend. So uh, I've been really impressed, you know, and I think that's um, 
you know, it really comes down to great leadership. You know, we've got a great leadership group. Our captains have done a phenomenal job really bringing those uh, underclassmen, our sophomore class, our freshman class along. Uh, so as we get into these important games here uh, in the playoffs, uh, they're ready. You know, they're ready to go, and we don't consider them freshmen anymore. They're, uh, they're veterans now. So, um, you know, I think that really speaks to the type of leadership we've gotten this year. Um, I mean, it's just an honor to be nominated for something like that, and it doesn't mean much for the season or for the games right now, but I think it's it's really cool to be put up against those great players in our league and that you compete against and just know that you're up among those names. What does it mean that you know five of the ten Patty Cass finalists are from ECAC hockey you know, for this league? I mean, I think it's just a lot of fun to be in that type of competitive league with such good players and such good teams, and it's it's been an awesome four years to play against them. Uh, did you did you kind of foresee this when you when you decided to come to the United States to play college hockey? Is that the ECAC hockey was this premier league, or did you kind of you know was it more just choosing RPI based on its merits? Um, it was more just choosing RPI based on its merits, but I mean looking back on it, I thought that the probably the Minnesota league was the best one because I knew a lot of Swedes had gone there before. I didn't know much about the ECAC, but you live and you learn and. <laughs> Now you do? Yeah. <laughs> now I know better. <laughs> uh, you know, 4,000 saves is, an, is, is just a number at this point. But, uh, you know, how do you feel about, you know, that? And what does it mean for, I guess, your, your ability to stay healthy and, and play well for four years? I mean, that's definitely been so important. That that's what you work hard for during the summer to be able to stay in games and stay healthy for a full season. And, I mean, I'm really proud to have reached 4,000 and to be still counting. Um, but, you know, it's never about the saves or the numbers. It's more about the games. And I'm really happy with how I've gotten through the four years and been able to play th through the full seasons. Uh, going back to the playoffs for you for the first time uh, in, in a little bit here, uh, you know, do, you, do you remember back to your, your first playoff series against Quinnipiac, or do you <laughs> not want to remember those because of how many, uh, how many pucks you took? <laughs> no, I just told the other interviewers about it because it's, it's a great memory to be able to push a team that far and to go into double overtime and we definitely weren't expected to win those games and it was just a lot of fun to push them to their limits. And uh, this year you get Cornell, a team that you haven't had a whole, whole lot of success against but mm -hmm. you know as Coach Vines uh, has said here today it's 0-0 it's zero, zero again for you guys and uh, you know it seems like the first minutes are going to be important for you guys against them but uh, you know what, what is your guys mindset going into the playoffs here? I think we just need to focus on our own game and uh, we've been really good at shutting some teams down and I think that's what we need to figure out how to do against um, Cornell and just play our game and believe in each other and just focus on us I think is what's important for this series. And uh, lastly for, for your group of you know a group of seniors it's a big group yeah. uh, you know making the playoffs has to be big if you go back to the beginning of the year and think mm -hmm. you know you told you this, this group you're going to be in the playoffs is that that's obviously one of your goals uh, how do you feel as as a, as a leader of this group of, of eight? I mean, it's huge. I'm so proud of what we've done this year, and it's so exciting to get to finish off our careers like this and take a run at the playoffs. And I know this is what we all wanted, and this is what we've been fighting for, so it's a lot of fun to get here.